all things brunch. Yes, at 9.30 <laughs> we often talk about food. Of course, as we mentioned early in the show, two Greensboro eateries were honored by the review site Open Table when they named their 2023 Top 100 Brunch Restaurants in the Country. That's amazing, and our Christina Evans was live at Green Valley Grill earlier this morning, the first of the two restaurants representing the triad, and now we get a look at the second. It's called Print Works Bistro, another beautiful patio behind you, Christina. Yes, Audrey Devante, I mean, Doc Devante, my goodness, I'm so sorry, Brian. I guess I want it to be four o'clock again this morning and we're back on WXI, but no, we're here now at Printworks Bistro and everything is going swell. We're outside again. Thankfully, the rain is holding off again so we can show you this outdoor space that they have here as well. Another review by O Food Table letting them know that they're the top 100 restaurants in the country. It's amazing to kind of see Greensboro have this shine overall, but we know that this particular restaurant, Teresa, has a special place in your heart because, I mean, <laughs> you got your start a couple hundred feet away from here. Yeah, I did actually. I my, got my second job. Um, I left high school, started college, and I needed to work my way through college at Proximity Hotel at the front desk as a guest services representative. So I've been with QW for seven years and it's been a really exciting journey. Um, but yeah, here we are at another one of our outdoor rooms. This one we call our Creekside Terrace because we've got this lovely creek that runs just um, adjacent to this outdoor space. But one of the really fascinating things about dining out here, maybe it's not fascinating, but we're proud of it, is that it can be really comfortable even on a muggy Carolina day because of these awnings and the circulation provided from the fans. And so even though it might feel sticky, but it, once those fans are going and the umbrella are up and the awning is obviously in place, then it can be a really comfortable space to enjoy and um, ala, dine ala fresco. I have to say, like, this does is more than another space that makes you feel like your transport is somewhere else. I mean, with the creek running through here, you can hear all the sounds of nature, which makes it a wonderful place to kind of be. And we know that you have a lot of special things also going on this summer as well at Green Valley Grill and here at Printworks Bistro and a few yeah. special tie-ins. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, well, we've got a wonderful summer getaway package. If you'd like to come stay at the hotel and dine at the restaurants, um, it's got a special rate with some dining vouchers included. Um, so it's really awesome whether it's one night or three nights. It's a perfect little getaway while the kids are at summer camp or whatever. <laughs> so think about date night. Think about your significant other and how you might treat them or even treat yourself. We'd love to host and um, have you enjoy these spaces and, and dine with us and stay with us. And also there's something called Mad Hatter. What is that all about? But that's over at Green Valley. Yes, thank you so much for reminding me about that. At Green or at O'Henry Hotel, we do this wonderful annual event called the Mad Hatter Tea. Um, one of our staff members named Ken Nash, he hosted as the Mad Hatter and it's it's a it's an opportunity to come and have high tea with us, but it's very family friendly. So a lot of people with children like to come and participate and sort of be part of this whimsical, um, you know, escapism into yeah. sort of this Alice in Wonderland, we can go down the rabbit hole and really see what it's like. And speaking of rabbit, maybe that's one of the things you have on your menu here. I don't know if I was just jumping out the window there, but I just wanted you to talk about the wonderful food that Printworks Bistro has. Oh, it's got tons of wonderful themes. So we've had um, hash in the past, but don't confuse or be corn biche. This um, menu change come Wednesday. Some of our most love things on the menu is French toast, the avocado toast. The French toast is made with challah bread, so it's like really moist and delicious. And um, steak frites, like, you know, you can't get enough of just perfect tender hanger steak and some perfectly cooked um, French fries. So there's a diverse menu. We don't have rabbit at the moment. <laughs> um, we might have in the past, but I'm not sure. I'll have to ask my colleagues. <laughs> and I'm sure all the rabbits that are probably running around the area are, are thoroughly thankful that they don't have them on the menu. But when we're talking about these honors of just having you know uh, being recognized by open table what do you think it is it is about your menus that makes you guys stand out so much here in the community and in the country as a whole well we're all about consistency and you know high quality um, foods but also doing it consistently well and um, I think that's where our guests are aren't disappointed and um, our, our team is proud of the work that they're able to create because um, we we appreciate what um, quality comes out of being able to do something well. Um, so whether you're ordering the crispy chicken snitchel, snitchel <laughs> or like um, the French toast, it should have a have consistency in it. And I think that when you do something 
well consistently that's what I'm saying that word a thousand times <laughs> that's when you get good results and that's how you get wonderful feedback especially on platforms like open table where you become the top 100 yeah. within the country and it's also one of those times where you get to see people come back and for different seasons and experience those menu changes mm -hmm. and I know we only have a couple of seconds before we go but you've done you were probably a part of the design team as well it's such a different feel Green Valley on the inside to over here at Printworks Bistro can you sort of talk about maybe even the design aesthetic difference here on the inside that folks can sort of expect that they come out for date night or for brunch yeah I think that it was a slightly different design team Bradshaw Orwell who's a designer here in town it was part of the team um, when this building was um, designed and erected in 2007 but um, I think the the idea is the Green Valley Grill is all about this sort of English countryside manner or the Henry Hotel is in Green Valley it's like it's Mediterranean sister so it creates this really European um, and exciting place to be here at Printworks it's more about um, it's a French inspired cuisine meets mm. industrial so we've, we're inspired by um, you know the origin of Greensboro's sort of textile mills and when you look around at the design and stuff but the food is French inspired and um, you know it, so you get two different themes and like that's fun too because it's fun to sort of be able to create different stuff. And my favorite part is that they're such close distance to one another and run by such a wonderful team. Thank you so much once again, Teresa. And again, here, if you'd like to come out, come to Greensboro. You have two amazing options that have both made the top 100 on that open table list. I'm sure we can call for those reservations here as well. Oh, absolutely. Please give us a call. We'd love to have you. Make sure you give them a call here at Printworks Bistro or over at Green Valley Grill and make sure you check out all those summer happenings. I'm going to toss it back to you in the studio, Audrey, Brian. I know you're jealous that I get to be outside and experience. <laughs> Experiencing all this, but I mean, you'll get your chance one day, I promise. <laughs>